Hello and welcome to the video. It is super early. We are in a taxi and we have left our accommodation in Bangkok. We are on the way to the airport and we are slightly nervous because today we are taking on something absolutely huge, especially as a family of five and taking the girls with us as well. This is probably the first time we've taken a risk um, whilst travelling, this is a little bit of the unknown. We've planned as much as we possibly can, but we are attempting to go to the airport and going to try, as a family of five, to enter China. We have made it to the airport here in Bangkok and we're all a little bit nervous, but extremely excited. We're about to attempt to fly to China and enter on the 144 hour transit visa. Now we've tried to do as much research as we possibly can. Step one is to actually get checked in. We don't know how this is gonna go. We haven't basically got a visa right now. You apply for it once you get to China, once you land. So we could actually get all the way to China and be turned away at the border. We don't know how today is going to go, but step one is getting checked in. Let's go. I think we're kind of getting there. I think Chris is just having to show proof of where we're flying onto after Shanghai. So he's just getting that out now. I'm hoping so that this is all going to go okay. So we've got the tickets, we've checked in successfully. That was taking a while and I was getting nervous. They were asking some questions like, do we have a visa? Where are we going afterwards? Everything like that. I think the poor guy who was checking us in was training as well. So a bit of a sweating moment there, but this is the ticket to actually arrive in China. We're going to Shanghai. Getting to Shanghai, that is the first aim. And then we've got to get through the border in Shanghai into China. So. Let's see, but so far, success. So we've made it through security. That went really smoothly. And a little bonus when traveling with kids is you get put in the fast track zone. And in that case, it was in the business and first class area. So that was pretty good. We've got our airplane tickets and the flight is four and a half hours long. So it's quite a long one. The longest we've been on in a while. So it'd be nice to sit back and relax. And we are on our way to Shanghai. I don't know what's gonna happen when we get there. Will we be allowed in? Who knows, but we will see. Okay, so we're finally on the plane and we're ready to go. We will definitely be setting foot in Shanghai Airport. Olivia, do you think we're going to get in? Yeah. Okay, Olivia's confident, that's good. Tamara and the girls are just in the front here and uh, we're ready. This, this aeroplane is really, really good. It's Shanghai Airlines um, and they've been fantastic so far. So, so far it's gone so well. Let's see how it goes when we arrive. Fingers crossed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Shanghai Pudong International Airport. Thank you for flying with Shanghai Airlines and for ATA to China East. Thank you. Bye -bye. We're here. We're in China and we've got through all of customs. We've got through the tricky visa stuff. We had to fill so much information out, but we're finally through. We're at the gates and now the next challenge is to find the transport to our hotel, which could be a little bit tricky because we're doing this without a local SIM card either. So we're gonna work out what the best option is. We know that the hotel isn't that far away from the airport. So we're thinking taxi is the best option because I am really keen to try out that fastest train the magnetic train but I think that we're a little bit too close to be able to be jumping on that so let's go and try and find a taxi I've been and got the goods two Chinese Red Bulls check those out they look pretty cool I've got coke I've got lollies I'm just getting used to the cash because it's like I have no idea how much everything is. Uh, but I worked out that the coke was 43 pence UK, which is about what we've been paying in Thailand. So that is a winner. 
Here we are, the private shuttle bus. We've booked a taxi, which is great. The ladies at the taxi area were fantastic. It's cost us about £40 to get there, which isn't too bad for an airport shuttle. We're in quite a big private van. But to top it off, Tamira has nicked this balloon. We've only been here five minutes. Look at that. We're in the taxi. The taxi is super duper comfortable. We've got these massive big seats. There's loads of room. We're apparently VIPs, uh, which I'm not sure why. But anyway, really, really comfortable. We're nearly at the hotel, I think. I can't wait to check it out, but I still cannot believe that we are in China. And so far around the airport, everyone has been able to speak a little bit of English. So we haven't had the language barrier as of yet. I have got Google Translate up and ready because I have heard that there can be quite a bit of a language barrier but so far we haven't actually noticed that yet Good morning from Shanghai we made it we feel so proud of ourselves we are walking on Chinese land right now. We got in late last night, um, so we just crashed out. We were so exhausted. Um, the people at the hotel were fantastic. We sent the Holiday Inn Express, um, and they were great checking us in. They've got like these uh, voice translators, so you speak to them in English, and then it replies to them in Chinese. So that is really, really cool. There is a language barrier, um, but so far, everyone's been really, really nice, and we are up and out, and trying to get to central Shanghai today. So we're trying to find a metro to get us in there we don't know how this is going to go wish us luck but here goes We haven't actually got SIM cards for this country because we're only in it for a couple of days. We're trying to find the metro. We've been heavily relying on Google Maps and all the other countries we've been traveling in, but we haven't got that whilst we're out and about. We're trying to find the metro station. But it's kind of have gone along of asking a few local people where they've got restricted English and we've kind of made it to this bus station. I'm not sure if the metro is here as well, but I feel a little bit like we're in race across the world. I feel like we're phoneless, we're a little bit, but you know we're relying on people with their general knowledge and their their kindness to show us the way but let's see if we can actually get on the metro i'm really determined to not give up and get a taxi into the center so i think we found the entrance i'm not sure if we need the tickets before we come down or not but let's go for it let's see what we can do in fact the last time that i felt So we paid by cash, we've got our four tickets here. It was five yen each, which all together is 20 yen, which works out about two pound 50. All right, so that's absolutely really, really cheap. Let's hope we can get on with these and let's hope that we don't have to pay for Bella because I can't see the language saying that we have to pay for it or not, but let's go give it a go. <laughs> So that was a bit crazy. It was the first stations that you didn't have a little way to get in accessibly way. So we had to tilt the buggy up and down to get through the little barriers. But yeah, you don't pay for it, so it's great. We've made it on the Metro, success. It's always amazing to try public transport when you first get to a new country. And this is super cool. It's so surreal being here. Literally, I just keep pinching myself, realizing that I'm in Shanghai. We can't believe it. Um, we've made it to downtown central. The metro was super easy, super cheap. People were really nice and polite, helping us on and off. So we'll be definitely using that whilst we're here. As you can see behind me, there's Chinese flags up. They're up and down the street. And it's a national holiday this week because it was national day a couple of days ago. So everybody is off of work. So we're expecting it to be mega, mega busy central, like when we get in there. Um, but we're just walking in there now. So far, it's a really good vibe. 
we're really enjoying it i just want to give a big shout out to josie lifts things because we watched her video on china before we came here and she's so right about the roads they're really really quiet because all of the vehicles are electric the buses there's scooters everything is electric so it's really quiet so you've literally just got to keep looking over your shoulder for vehicles passing by but loving it so far So we're right into the heart of the city now. I've got the Shanghai Tower, which is just over here. The third tallest building in the world. And then we've got the famous rocket ship style building just over there. It's literally mesmerizing walking the whole way. We're on another race sort of platform where you can walk above the traffic. Um, and it just it's just so cool being here, so, so cool. We've been walking around for a while and we are starving. So we've come into like, we think it's a Chinese fast food place, unsure, but it's called Sheng Jiang Gui, I think. Sheng Jiang Gui. So it's like a beef noodle place. Um, so I've ordered some noodles with chili and beef. It looks incredible. I'm going to give it a little go right now. Very nice. There's a definite kick to that. So I'm super excited to be here. I think it looks really good. I've got some beef noodles which look insane. But what's really cool is you get these little drawers to get your chopsticks and your spoon and all of your condiments out of there, which is, I think is really, really cool. There's a big language barrier, but the guy was really, really good at explaining and going through with me. But unfortunately, I've ordered hot water, not cold. But uh, you know, only a little bit of a hiccup. So I have some plain noodles here, and I'm going to try them. Then Scarlett. They also persuaded us to try this like craft beer. I think it's special to this place, and uh, I don't know why, but I'm getting a bit of banana from that. It's like a banana beer. So there's always one fussy eater in the family and that is our Olivia, she's the eldest. And as we've been traveling, she's done really well and really changed what she's eating and what she's trying. In the Chinese place just then, I do not feel that she had enough to eat. So I popped into McDonald's, which is next door, and I bought her some chicken nuggets. She did try that, but I don't feel she's had enough to give her enough energy for the rest of the day. So we've got her some chicken nuggets, but even that in Shanghai was really tricky to order. But everyone in there was really willing to help, wanting to try out their English with me and help me out. So they weren't even working there and they helped me out and I've got the goods. Any good? No, it's really nice. Just check those out. We've got a dirty boba milk tea there and a grape cheese. Unsure on that one, that one's Tamira's. This one was about £2.20, this one about £2.50. China so far has been more expensive than the other places we've been, Malaysia, Thailand, but it's not as expensive as I thought. We've had a good meal today, we've done the public transport, which is mega cheap, and these are pretty reasonable. So, so far, can't complain. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is what I'm expecting it to be like, but let's give it a go. Wow. That is so, so nice. It's like a dessert all in one. Grapey, creamy. Mm. Oh, and that jelly, that grape jelly. Mm. Really good, really, really good. 
So this is what happens. We've been travelling for four months and the general temperature that we've been having in the countries we've been, Malaysia and Thailand, has been about 30 degrees. So normally you're just sweating when you're outside and you cannot wait to get into the aircon. Now we're here, we're sitting at about 25, 26 degrees. It feels quite fresh and very, very comfortable, but the girls seem to have to be wearing their hoodies with their hoods up. Just check this out. Girls, are we okay? Yeah. Are you cold? Yeah. <laughs> Bella, are you cold? Yeah. It definitely is that little bit cooler here, but it's not a problem. I'm not cold. You can just feel it's a little bit fresher in the air. Um, I didn't know what to expect really when landing here. I didn't know if it was going to be really cold or the same heat as Bangkok, which was like 32 to 33. It's actually quite pleasant to walk around. We're not sweating. It's pretty comfortable. So we have made our way to Walking Street and it is incredibly busy. There's literally traffic lights for people up there. It's so busy. It's mad. There's police controlling people, stopping them so that the bikes go past. It is so, so busy. There's going to be a wave that come behind us in a second. It's mad. It really is busy. The lights are so incredible though. Like it's so... Like, it's like Christmas, the lights are so bright and there's lights everywhere. We're heading down to the riverfront so we want to get the view of the skyline uh, with the lights. So wish us luck but there is a lot of people here. We're just coming right up to the riverfront now and this is insane. It is heaving! It's so, so busy! It's, it's insane. This is just one of those moments you'll never forget. Olivia, are you okay? This is just incredible. I am so, so glad I brought the buggy. And we have made it to the riverfront with uh, the most incredible view behind us. I'm going to show you in a minute. We've made it, everyone. Woo! Yes, finally! We've walked so far, which means we've got so far to go back, but this is completely worth it. We are only here for a couple of days and we have to take these chances when we've got them. This is absolutely amazing looking at this. It's absolutely blown me away. It looks like a theme park. It is bizarre. It is a city, but looks like a theme park. Crazy. That has got to be the most incredible city view I've ever seen in my life. Literally gobsmacked. We just, we can't get enough. Like it is breathtaking is that. The views, the lights, absolutely stunning. We really hope you've enjoyed this video. Our first impressions of Shanghai have been amazing. It's such an incredible city and we are so, so, so glad that we've managed to make it here. Please hit that thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and see where we end up next. We'll see you in the next one.